Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Please be aware that I do not represent any company. I'm not endorsed by or affiliated with any automotive manufacturer or car dealership. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and all trademarks, logos and brand names are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform an engine oil and filter replacement on 2015 to 2021 Lexus NX 200T and NX 300 models. Uh, to do an oil change on the NX, uh, lift the vehicle up. Uh, if you don't have a hoist, lift it up uh, with a jack and support it securely with jack stands. Never work on a vehicle that's uh, held up only by a jack. The oil pan is located right here. There is the drain plug for the oil and right there is the oil filter housing. It's best to do the oil change uh, when the vehicle is warmed up to full operating temperature because it's gonna help drain most of the old oil out because it won't be as viscous. So once the engine's warmed up, open the drain plug and uh, drain the old oil out. Okay, while the oil is draining, take the uh, old uh, drain plug gasket off, install a new one. And then when the oil flow slows down to a drip or a small trickle, reinstall the uh, oil pan drain plug and then uh, tighten it with a 14 millimeter wrench or socket. The torque spec on it is 30 foot pounds or if you don't have a torque wrench, tighten it up nice and snug. Next thing we're going to do is replace the oil filter. So you need to uh, open uh, or remove this oil filter housing and there is a replacement element inside. Now this here can also open and you can drain the uh, oil that's inside the housing out. I never do it because it's just an extra step that I find unnecessary. Uh, so you just need an adapter that fits over the filter. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon and then uh, just loosen the filter housing. Once you got it loose, remove the adapter and then unspin it the rest of the way. Once it gets to a certain point, uh, some oil is going to start leaking out. So just be ready for it. You can kind of be quick about it and then it doesn't make a big mess all over the place. And uh, now you can just take the old filter, pull it out of here. And then you have an O-ring that goes right there. So we got to replace that. Take a flat blade screwdriver and just uh, lift the O-ring up and take it off of the filter housing. Take a new O-ring and then you can take a little bit of this used oil or use some of the new oil and just lubricate it all around. Now install it onto the filter housing Make sure you get it in the right groove. So that's this groove right here. Don't end up in the threads or all the way down here because then it's gonna leak. So there we go. The O-ring's in the proper groove. Put the new oil filter in there and uh, start threading it back in. Once you can't turn it by hand anymore, grab the adapter, put it on, and then uh, tighten it the rest of the way with a ratchet. You don't have to go super tight on these. It's made of plastic, it's 18 foot pounds. Uh, you don't want to crack it. So 18 foot pounds is kind of uh, moderately tight. And then once you get it nice and snug, Clean off any old oil residue so it doesn't drip on your driveway. The oil filler cap is located right there. So remove it and use a funnel. Refill the engine with uh, 4.9 liters or 5.2 quarts of 0W20 oil. Close the filler cap. Start the engine. 
and let it run for a couple of minutes. While it's running, check for any oil leaks that uh, may be happening under there. Um, we don't have any, which is great. Shut the engine off and uh, wait for a minute or two for the oil level to settle in the oil pan. Once uh, the car set for a couple of minutes and the oil had a chance to settle, pull out the uh, dipstick, wipe it off, reinsert it back, and then uh, check where the oil level is. So the full mark is right there. And that's where our oil level is sitting at nice and pretty. So uh, take some of this oil and uh, lubricate this O-ring right here so that it doesn't get stuck uh, in the future. And uh, get the dipstick back in there. And that is it. Oil change is completed. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.